Sith. Stupidity I totally hated about the Star Wars films I liked, loved even. This is the first transmission that doesn't involve any of the prequel films. In fact, it involves my favorite Star Wars movie, depending on what day of the week it is. Some days, Star Wars is my favorite Star Wars movie, especially with the Death Star trench run, the destruction of the battle station, and that metal ceremony to end it. There is such an emotional resonance that is still there. I feel it in my bones 40 years later, in my gears and all of my cybernetic attachments. But anyway, other days is the Empire Strikes Back. Yoda teaching Luke about the Force. Luke finding an apparition of the dark side in the form of Darth Vader, the carbon freezing chamber scene, probably the definitive Star Wars moment of the entire saga, the lightsaber duel with Vader and Luke, Vader's revelation. It's hard to determine at times which one is my absolute favorite. Notice I didn't say a new hope. The original Star Wars didn't have that episode for a new hope in the opening crawl. Do you not believe me? Look for yourself. See? No, a new hope. That was added later in the early 80s, but I digress. Say. You may ask yourself, I wonder what Lord Vader hates about his favorite Star Wars movie. The ineptitude of the Imperial Stormtrooper. Palpatine said it much more menacing in the Bad Batch. But anyway, I always hated sequences within this movie where their targets weren't even moving and the Stormtroopers cannot hit them. It's stupid. Laughable. At one instance, their targets were not even looking at them and they were standing out on the edge of a platform. They had to turn around, turn around, okay, never mind, without ducking or dodging until Leia lunged over to the controls and closed the blast door. Stupid. Another instance, while Luke is looking down at his belt to secure the grappling cord so that he and Leia could traverse the chasm, stormtroopers shoot again and miss. I may as well be singing Manamana from the Muppets during the slapstick while our heroes are being chased and shot at by Imperial Stormtroopers. Do, 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 do. Manamana. Do, 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 do. Manamana. Do, 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 do. But on a more serious note, after watching the Andor series, I can no longer tolerate stormtroopers that can't hit their targets. Rick's Road, the season finale of Andor, legitimized the threat of the Imperial Stormtrooper once and for all. I cannot go back to stormtroopers being easily dispatched anymore. And that was put on display when Tala, unarmed, mind you, bested two armed stormtroopers, mind you, with simple palm strikes in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Stupid. This is a failure of visual storytelling. The tone is much more accelerated when you feel that your heroes are in actual mortal danger. Not when you have Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles, and Helen Keller in Stormtrooper Regalia. This has been Sith, the fifth installment. Stay tuned for more. There will be more. I don't mean to be presumptuous, Lord Vader, but... Is it true that you were using your powers of the Force to help the commandos of the 501st Legion actually hit their targets? How did you find- I mean, no comment. <laughs>